Good morning, YouTube. So with today's video, I'm going to give you five, six, six cheaper alternatives to more expensive fragrances. Some of these might be already affordable, but you know, you might have cheaper alternatives to more of those affordable scents anyways. But let's just kick it off with number one, and that's going to be YSL's Le Nuit de Lune. Now this is a great smelling fragrance. This is the original formulation. Uh, I got this bottle like back in 2014, 2015 from Joe Anthony. So if you're watching, thank you once again. I have to thank you so many times, but I'm still going to be doing it. At this point, this fragrance has just been reformulated. So it doesn't really smell the same and it doesn't last as long. You're pretty much spending for the name. YSL. You know, YSL is, a, is a, an upper designer brand. So you're definitely paying for a lot of quality, but their fragrances have been reformulated. Go with this one here, Guess Seductive um, Blue. This smells quite similar to this, but this is more of a spring and summer scent. It's gonna have that cardamom, just like the YSL, but it's got like sand, it's got caviar to add a little bit of salty nuance to it. Sea Notes and Cashmere. So pretty much, it's almost on par with the YSL, but it's just a little bit fresher, just as warm spicy, but a little bit more maybe slightly sweeter and saltier with the caviar. It's not as classy as the YSL, but it's just as sexy. Again, you know, you're gonna spend maybe like 20, 30 bucks compared to like 90 to $110 for the YSL. Fragrance number two, love the brand. I love this fragrance. It smells great. There's quality to it, but you're spending for the name as well, Armani. Armani Aqua de Gio Profondo. I love this. This is just a little test uh, travel spray, not a test bottle. Travel spray because I'm not spending like a hundred bucks on a bottle that I'm not gonna finish. And when it comes to this brand, I got a whole bunch of travel sprays. I overspent, I'm not gonna deny it. But instead of this one, go with this one here. Azaro's Chrome Extreme. A lot of similarities, both have that C note, that marine like, they're both blue. So this one here also has amber, cashmere, citruses. Smells great. Both will do very well in the high heat. But this is just way cheaper at 30 to 40 dollars compared to like 90 to 110 as well. No brainer. Fragrance number three, love the scent, came out in like 03. Ralph Lauren Polo Blue, go with this one here. Calvin Klein Eternity Aqua. For this itself, is like $22 for a 30 ml. For a 50 ml, it's like what, 26, 28? Both are blue scents, both have citruses and cucumber, so it's very fresh, very aquatic, very blue, both have lavender. But this one here also has like plum, sandalwood, and musk. It's blue, it's clean, it's body wash like, just kind of like this one here. Out of the shower will do just as well as this one here in the high heat. Both as versatile, but for what you're spending, great bang for your buck. Now if you're already ultra cheap, this is a, a very affordable scent. But if you want something that's a little bit more affordable, go with this one here. Perry Ellis America. Now. They do have that Creed Aventus DNA. This one here is just a little bit different than this one here. This has that pineapple feel, but it has bergamot, so pineapple's not a note. Pineapple is in this. But what, th what makes this one just a little bit different is gonna be the jasmine and the rose. There is a slight floral touch this one, but it also has lavender, amber, and definitely some citruses as well. For what you're spending, it's great bang for your buck. Now it's not 100% like this or Aventus. It does go along that route. That pineapple in the, the woods itself does give it that Aventus-like feel. But for what you're spending, 25 to $30, this is a no-brainer. This is a great spring and summer scent. And longevity is pretty decent with five to six hours. Fragrance number five, I don't have a bottle. I once did, but I, I ended up cleaning out my collection a long time ago. I wasn't reaching for it, but it's like $18 compared to like 50, 60 or more. So if you want a replacement for Dolce & Gabbana, the one, 
which is a great smelling scent that came out in 2008, then go with Rihanna Rogueman. Yup, Rihanna the, the singer. This stuff has cardamom, it's got amber, rosemary, tonka bean, citruses. It really does have that the one DNA with the amber and the cardamom. It's sexy, it's warm. Now it's not gonna last as long as the one EDT, and that one already has performance issues from what a lot of people say, it's like four to seven hours. Well with Rihanna, from what I remember, it was like four to five. So for an $18 celebrity scent, you really can't go wrong. And fragrance number six, if you like Dior Sauvage without the price tag, go with this one here, Mercedes-Benz Man Blue. This is Dior Sauvage in a bottle. So, Sauvage, it's got what, the, it's got the, the ambergris, it's got like that, that pepper, the bergamot. This has pepper, bergamot, it's got loads of lavender, kind of like the, the, well not kind of, like very much like the, the Dior Sauvage but this one just has more lavender, so it's a little bit more fresher, a little bit more blue, but it also has musk and amber. It's a great substitute to an already great popular scent. Now, if you don't possibly want to smell like other guys out there, then you might not like this one. However, what makes this one a little bit different is that when you tell people, they're, like, they're gonna be like, oh, you're wearing Sauvage. And you'd be like, no, I'm wearing Mercedes-Benz Men Blue. Longevity off this for what you're spending, what? 30 to 50 bucks is good. Six to seven hours, that's a no brainer to me. So guys, that's it, that is six cheaper alternatives to more expensive fragrances, all right? Now again, if, you're, if you are ultra cheap, you know, this is already quite affordable. You know, Perry Ellis America is a good scent. I actually enjoy it, and I'm not the biggest fan of Aventus-like fragrances, but both of these are really good. I just have to give this one back to Rush because it's not mine. If you want to see the other cheaper alternative list that I did, check out this corner here. And if you want to see other, let's say a top five cheapie of some kind, check out this corner here. And if you liked this very video, leave me one of these. I thank you for your time, take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody.